Hey everyone, welcome back to Simple Charm Living. Today I have another nail polish remover review for you. The Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus. And this is a polish remover, nail cleaner, and a nail prep. And it's supposed to have an extended polish wear guaranteed. In the Zoya system, in the Zoya products that they have, this is considered uh, color lock step number one. So as you can see, mine has seen some quite a bit of love to it. I'm still not completed with it because I haven't been doing my nails for a while. I just recently started getting back into it. So we are going to finish this guy up eventually, obviously. However, let's see what Zoya has to say about their product. It says that Zoya Remove Plus is an award-winning, gentle, yet highly effective three-in-one nail polish remover, nail prep, and nail conditioner. Longer nail polish wear starts with Remove Plus. Now get Zoya Remove Plus packaged in the portable spill-proof eight ounce big flipper. And the reason why it is a flipper is because going to remove this up here, you can push this down and the product will go up to the top so that you can remove the polish. The ingredients found in this nail polish remover are 2-propanone, water, glycerin, fragrance, DNC violet number two, which is a coloring for it. Now, 2-propanone is still acetone, it's just another name for it, so this product still does have acetone, but it is cut kind of like in half because it does have other ingredients to kind of make it a little bit more gentler on the nails. So if you were to take pure acetone and you were to remove your nail polish, you will notice that your skin looks very dry and very, you know, just, it looks bad. It looks like it's been dried out, all the moisture has been taken away. However, this is gonna be kind of like a balance or it should be like a balance. Um, because it has water and glycerin, which acts as a moisturizer. Pretty much glycerin is going to trap the moisture inside, thus causing it to be a moisturizer. So it kind of acts like as a balance together. On the back here, it says that Zoya Remove Plus does it all. Mild acetone formula moisturizes, nourishes, and helps to fortify the nail plate while removing all traces of existing nail lacquer without stripping, streaking, or staining. Use as a nail plate cleaner and prep product prior to applying base coat to dramatically extend color wear. Directions, place a saturated nail wipe on nail a few seconds to soften nail lacquer and wipe clean. Repeat prior to applying base coat. So pretty much the idea behind it is to use a nail wipe or to use like a con ball or something, saturate it in the little flip top that has like a little pump here, and then you're gonna leave it on your nail for a few seconds, kind of remove it and then it should wipe clean. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we are going to take a cotton ball, we are going to pump it through, and you can see that it does have some purple coloring on there. Waft it in. It does have an acetone scent to it. So it said to hold on to it for a few seconds. Let's move it around. And voila. Nail polish is gone. So you can see that my nail still does look moisturized. It does not look like it's dry in any way. It does not feel dry either. So that is always a plus. But let's go ahead and remove the next, the rest of my nail polish. We are starting off with nice fresh nails again. It has completely removed all the nail polish. It does feel a little bit sticky right now, kind of like feeling my fingers. I would need to wash my hands to make sure the stickiness is kind of gone or the little tackiness that it leaves. And I think that's mostly because of the glycerin that is in it. I I'm assuming I could be wrong but to me I feel like that's what's causing it to feel a little sticky just because the glycerin's purpose is to moisturize your skin as well as to trap some moisture in which is why you do not have like your fingers looking all like ashy around the nail cuticle it worked pretty quickly like I mentioned there's like no oil there's it's like pretty much stripped which is why Zoya has it that you use it as a nail prep so before you do your nails it gives you kind of that dry foundation so that you can build your base coat and then your color and then your top coat on top of it so it extends its wear because oftentimes you need to have a very dry nail you don't want to have any oils on there or any moisture because it can cause issues for your nail later on so this is a nice way of doing it so you don't have to worry about acetone completely drying out your nail bed or alcohol completely drying out your nail bed you can just use this because it has that moisture and that tackiness that will help the base coat kind of like grip onto your nail bed and then go on from there to have extended 
nail polish wear. So that's good. If you prefer to have a nail polish remover that does not have acetone, I would say skip this because it still does have acetone in it. If you are someone that does not mind using acetone, but you just don't like how it feels dry and you like the quickness of it, then I would say definitely check this out because it does give you the quickness of the acetone dissolver, but it also gives you that hydration so that your nails do not completely dry out or the skin around your nails. Given that this bottle does have acetone in it, as long as it's mixed with other things, I think I'm okay with still using it. I like how quickly acetone removes the nail polish. I just don't like the scent of it, nor do I like how it leaves my hands feeling super dry or my fingers around the cuticle area feeling dry. Because my hands are dry prone, I wanna have something that does not cause my nails to dry up because it is not fun, it doesn't look pretty, and it just, I'm, my again, my hands are already dry prone to begin with, so I don't want to encourage that dryness on my hands. I want to keep all moisture as possible within my hands, so I don't have to worry about that. So having this nail polish remover does help with that because it does keep it looking hydrated. It does not look dry in any way. So I will say that I do approve of this. I do like this nail polish remover. Again, obviously I've enjoyed it because I've used it. I really enjoy the idea that it has that pump top on top. I did purchase mine at Ulta a few years ago, so I have had this for a while, but like I said, because I haven't done my nails in a long time, that's why I kind of stopped right here, but I did use this every single time I did my nails. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions that you wanna see or have any questions about this product please leave the comments down below for that. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can see when a new video comes out to you. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.